Title, Miami Catches the Big Fish, Fleet Week Sails South After 30 Years. TLDR. After more than three decades in Fort Lauderdale, Fleet Week is now hoisting its anchor and setting a course for Miami in the coming year. Say ahoy! To a new horizon filled with sailors, marines, and coast guardsmen from May the 7th to the 13th. It's all hands on deck, Miami. But are you ready? Story. Party people of Miami, clear your calendars for May the 7th to the 13th next year and get ready for some serious seafaring shenanigans. Why, you ask? Well, the U.S. Secretary of the Navy, Carlos del Toro, and the Miami-Dade Mayor, Daniela Levine Carver, dropped a naval-sized surprise recently, announcing that the esteemed Fleet Week would be pulling into the Miami-Dade County for the first time in its 30-plus years history. But what's Fleet Week, you might wonder? Well, brace yourself for an invasion. But of the fun kind. Fleet Week is when active military ships dock in major U.S. cities, letting the crews roam the streets hitting tourist attractions, and giving us landlubbers a chance to tour the ships and witness military demonstrations and air shows. In short, it's a chance to bring out your inner pirate, minus the looting and pillaging, of course. Fort Lauderdale, however, isn't throwing in the towel just yet. After hosting the Fleet Week Port Everglades since 1990, officials there announced that they've offered a helping hand to Port Miami for planning next year's event. Talk about being good sports. However, the big question looming over this move is, is Miami ready to handle this gargantuan seafaring extravaganza? Fleet Week is more than just ship stocking and sailors sightseeing. It's about community engagement, showcasing the Navy's capabilities, and of course, those intense air shows. Are the folks in Miami ready for this sea of change? Will the city be able to steer the ship of this massive event smoothly? Sure, Miami has its fair share of fantastic events, but Fleet Week is a different kind of sea beast. With thousands of uniformed personnel flooding the city, logistical challenges can mount quicker than you can say ship ahoy. The city needs to ensure accommodations, coordinate events, manage traffic, and provide security, all while maintaining its usual sunny disposition. Is this going to be a titanic success or a nautical nightmare? Only time will tell. But one thing's for certain, next May is going to be quite the spectacle in Miami. Will this be a smooth sail, or are we looking at rough waters ahead? So, the question we leave you with today is, how do you think Miami will handle the challenge of hosting Fleet Week? Could this signal a sea change in how major events are shared among Florida cities, or will it just end up as a one-time event that sails back to Fort Lauderdale? What do you think, folks?